The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the bibliography and citation management features of Microsoft Word. If you're writing papers, then you're almost always going to have to have bibliographies and citations. And this used to be a major, major hassle. But Word makes it much, much easier. And let me show you how. If we go over to our toolbox, the formatting palette, and click on this third icon, it's the citations um, area. You'll notice that we have here a, we will have a list of citations. So as we're writing our paper and we have used a source, whether that's a book or a magazine or a website, well, we're going to click this plus button here in the bottom left. We click the plus button and it opens up a new box, create new source. At the top we choose the type of the source, whether it's a book or a website or any of these other types of information sources. And you'll notice that for each one um, there are a lot of different fields that are related to the type of source there is. And so for each of these, then for our particular source, we're going to type in the information that we have. You'll see that there's a star next to the fields that are recommended. So we're typically going to have a, an author for most sources. We can uh, put in a title for the book. The city of publication and the publisher. And of course the year. So depending on what sources you have, you'll fill, fill in the information that you have available. If you click OK, you notice here that the citation list now has one item in it, this particular item that we just entered. We click plus and add more items for every source that we have. Now what you'll notice is that it also went ahead and added a citation over here in my document. Uh, let me go ahead and delete that and we'll re-add that. So let's say after this sentence we'd like to add a citation. We put the cursor where we want the citation to be, and we can just double click whichever citation we want to use. You'll see that it's automatically put it in this particular style, which is the citation style Turabian. Well, let's say we want to use MLA instead. We'll select that, and you'll notice that our citation automatically changes to match that style. Now, citations are half of the battle. Uh, the second thing that we always have to do is have a bibliography or a works cited. And to do that, I'm going to go to the end of my document and insert a page break. On this bottom page, I'm going to insert my bibliography. Now, Word makes this easy, and it will automatically generate it for us. To do so, we're going to click on the Document Elements tab, and then click on Bibliographies. Notice that it gives two options, Bibliography and Works Cited. The difference between these two is Bibliography will have a citation for every source that's in your your sources over here, whereas Works Cited will just have the ones that you actually cite in your paper. So I'm going to click up the bibliography, and notice that it puts in this field down here. It has the word bibliography, but in this gray box, you'll see that's an automatically generated field. Because of that, Word is typing this text for us. It's creating the text, and we are not writing it ourselves. Now you see that there is this down arrow and the update citations and bibliography. When we make changes over here, let's say for example, that we add in a new source, we're going to have to update to get that to work. So. Enter in a new author. So forth. Click OK. Notice that this is here. The bibliography hasn't changed, but we can say update citations of bibliography, and now we have both of our sources.
Okay. Now one other thing that we might want to do is it's possible that we may need to put page numbers on the citation and they're not put here by default. To do that we will click on our citation in the text, click on this down arrow and say edit this citation. When we click on that it brings up this box which allows us to type in page numbers. So I can easily say this particular quote comes from page 12. I'm going to say OK and you'll notice here that a 12 is added to the list. So what we've seen here is the source manager, how to insert citations, and how to insert bibliographies and works cited.